Howdy, howdy, folks! Welcome back to another episode on my Minecraft Feed the Beast Dire Wolf 20 series. And I've been working on some stuff here. I have moved the... What's that thing called? The Mac back. I have actually made it bigger and stepped it back one. I'm using the Carpenter's Dora here to try to blend it in. It almost blends in pretty good. You can see the door handle, though. But it's it's a lot bigger. We got 15 pages now. And I got a lot of CPU stuff in there. So that's done. Um, I kind of just trimmed this out and made it add another drive down here. Because I was uh, I, I was running out. I needed more room. Uh, things are starting to fill up. The quarry is off now. It's done. I haven't started it back up. But um, yeah. I haven't installed any mods but the pack did update. I also added two more metal former. Since the metal former does three separate things, extruding, rolling, and cutting, now they're each on their own. Because if you 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 can actually do this shapeless crafting, but you're wasting material building the rolling, the hammer, and the cutting. So might as well just use power. Um <clears throat> but yeah, the pack updated and it added pneumatic craft which uses the air and then, you know, some, some mods updated here and there. I'm not able to update right now. I need more time. Um, I'm having a an ID7 uh, world game save error. So, I don't know. I ended up going to... So, yeah, I'm still on whatever the one right before it updated. Um, I went to the nether and I grabbed... I think... I don't know if I already had a pigman. But a blaze, a fire bat, a wisp and a uh, wither skeleton. So wither skeletons are in here, which I've already ran for a while, and the pecs are in here. And I'm using the pecs for mana beans, and I got quite a bit now. Whoops. Um, and I actually have another stack in my Thomcraft room. So I have another stack of each one of these. So this is every aspect in the game. So yeah, they do good. The only problem with... Uh, with running both of those at the same time is one I have to use wither skeletons I have to do I have to make it exact copy because they're wither skeletons so it takes up more I'm running low on uh on uh right here on mob uh mob essence I mean it's not low low but I had like 30 30 something thousand bytes and when I turn those on this drains fast so right now I'm kind of filling back up um, I moved the XP to a bigger one because the other the other drive was only 16,000 bytes. Now this one's 65. XP's filling up quick now with that little XP farm I have up here. I'm actually surprised with just that little thing right there. It fills quick. So I, I think I'm good on those. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to do any more. Um, let me show you the Thomcraft stuff. I've done hours and hours and hours. Uh, I added a cactus farm down there. Um, there's still more I want to add, but for now on a cactus farm. So let me show you the Thomcraft stuff. I've spent probably 12 to 14 hours on it. Very, very hard since they changed the tubing around to try to automate all this stuff. So I'm using golems instead. And we got two golems. We got one right here and one right here. And I can throw different stuff in each of these, you know. And this guy will do all these right here and then this guy will do all these uh what i noticed with one is is he he gets confused i actually had these bottles up here but they were all wonky they 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 could reach him sometimes it, it's it's really glitchy with the golems let's just put it that way um i got a filing cabinet right here i have a stack of each of the mana beans here just uh to have it on on hand right here um we're using the essentia mirrors so I just put two, one here, one here, and they actually go up to the altar up there, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I have my suit right here. Let's put this all on. I've enchanted it. Uh, I got the goggles. It has reading one, protection four, repair two, respiration, aqua affinity. Uh, the boots got protection, feather falling, haste, and repair. Uh, protection repair and protection repair. I was starting to. I was wearing this uh, most of the time. I was doing this, and I was actually taking damage a lot because uh, of the mobs. I collected a, a bunch of these. Um, some of them, like this one, it's a it's a pure node, but it's 
it's only five of each aspect. So I kind of, I, I started to go look differently after I got the, a few down here, like the little ones. I was like, wait a minute, this ain't going to work. So I started looking for big ones. Like this one is 112 for Ordo. So it'll fill up the Thaumian based Silverwood one, you know, in one shot pretty much. Oh, wow. That's already low. Oh, that's just low. Okay. So yeah, I, I still want to grab more of these. There's, there's more I want to grab, but this is good for now. I hated this, you guys. This took so freaking long. Having to fill up the wand, go out, fill it. Oh, my God. And then even to capture these, it takes so much. So you want to make sure you have all of your gear on because it gives you a discount. Plus, the secret um, is the focus. Uh, putting, uh, let me see. Putting Frugal 3 on one of the focuses and keeping that focus equipped, Frugal 3 uh, reduces cost. So that was a secret I searched on. I found that online. I didn't figure that out. Um, so right now I just have the Fire one, the Portable Hole, and the Pex Curse. This one actually, um, the Pex drop wands. And so I have a bunch of these. I have so many of those. Um, so I set up a deconstruction. Uh, table and I'm using uh, nether wart nether wart will give you all the aspects so I have a hopper underneath this carpet which is feeding into there and every so often you know if I remember I just click it doesn't I don't really need it but it's just a few here and there um, this is an Ars Magica workbench I thought it would fit in here you know with all the magic stuff I'm just storing some extra stuff in here extra golems some block of flesh alembic stuff like that um, so yeah, I've got that stuff there, and then, uh, there's my gold banded great wood wand. That was the first one I made. I already have an iron wands from the pecs. I had tons of them. Um, yeah, look at this. In here. <laughs> look at all these. I had all the, I had actually more, so look at all these. And I know you can use these for other stuff, like these focuses, so, yeah, very cool that the pecs drop those. I'm going to keep that there. Um, check out this Ars Magica 2 Lectern. That's cool. You can put your book on it and bam. So I haven't gotten too far. Let me see. Yeah, I've gotten to the Silverwood Wand Core. I haven't gotten to the Stabs yet. Um, haven't even unlocked that. I don't see a purpose to. I haven't even gotten all these yet. All the focuses yet. A um, little bit in the Alchemy. Uh, did I get everything? Maybe I did. I can't remember. I only got as much as I needed, and there's stuff that I do. I would like like a lot of these lamps. I would like um, maybe the boots of the traveler. I would definitely like the sword of the zephyr. I love. I actually I love all these tools except the pick. I love the axe. I love the shovel. I love this. So maybe do that. Not even sure what that is. I wanted the mirrors because that was how I was transferring it. So I set up one right here, and then I set up one over here just to have you know. So I didn't have to go all the way back here. I could just you know check it out here. And then the research table, um, I went through my whole, in whole inventory, every item that I have in my inventory, in my AE. It took three hours to go through everything, throw it on the ground, and the biggest one, I'm going to tell you guys right here, the biggest one right here, look at this, void, I have 2,000. Do a deep chest from Mine Factory Reloaded, one of those deep chests, you'll get 2,000 void from that. I couldn't believe it. 2,000. So we're good on aspects for a little bit. Um, and like I said, I still have this. And see, look, air. I can just click it, get it. Um, just to let you know, though, once you get to about 50 on each aspect, you, you your, your gain is, like, cut in half or it's a lot lower. So from, from the mod author, he says once you get to about 50, then you should just stop use it up and then start scanning stuff again because anything else you scan you don't get the full amount of points which I, I i didn't know that it wasn't until after the fact um i have this automatic uh alchemical construct uh it's cool i did all the golem stuff with this the only problem is i cannot figure out how to automate it i have to grab the essentia bottles and put them right here manually um to do this i'm not sure how to automate this i even tried with golems I couldn't figure it out. Just got a hungry chest right here where it'll spit it out. Um, so if you guys know how to fully automate this, this is supposed to be somewhat automated, but yet you still need to feed it the essence. So I'm not 
too sure on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure. So that's this room down here. Um, yeah, let's go up here. Uh, up here, here's the um, altar. And in the book, it does say to put the arcane stone blocks underneath like this. I know you don't have to, but it, it's, it's with all this stuff, it says it's supposed to help with the... Uh, um, you know, with the the crap, that purple crap stuff that comes out. That, what is that called? I forgot the name. You know, when when it messes up, it's supposed to help. So far, everything's breaking, working good. There's the Essentia mirrors up there. Uh, they got a pretty good distance on them. I forget how far, but they work. And those are quite easy to make. Um, so there's that. I just put these barrels here just to have some of these on hand, you know, if you're doing anything and it takes these. So, I still have more stuff to do in here. and I think down here I'm pretty much done. I would like more of these. More Aura Nodes. You know, I want big ones though. Like, look at this Terra one. 152. That one's nice. And... Uh, yeah, have I done anything else? I don't think I have. Um, oh! Yes! I have made the ultimate solar helmet. Oh, let me put this actually. Let me put this back on. Let me show you how or what I what I made. Okay, let's uh, let's make it into daytime. I made a sleeping bag. One of you subscribers mentioned this. Thank you. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> I use it all the time now. It, it, the weird thing is, it, it takes off your chest plate though. Don't know why, but it's okay. I can live with that. Um. So yeah, I made one of the windmills up here. Hey, get down. Um, oh my god, did this take... This takes, uh, to make the extreme one, this takes about 12,000 iron. 12,000, which is a lot. But it produces 2,048 EU per tick. I have an iridium rotor, which is 100% 100 efficiency and infinite, which means it'll never run out. Um, so that's just been going. I did ton, and I put this here, this molecular transformer. I did two stacks of iridium through here. So I put iron in here and did it. And I've done a stack of glowstone, getting the scenarium, and then glow glowstone dust. So that just runs. It's just been running in the background all the time. I've been working on everything. So I got pretty much, um, a good amount of stuff. Let's see, scenarium. No, how do you spell scenarium? Oh, scenarium. Huh. So we got 53 of the scenarium, and then uh, the scenarium part 63. Let's see how much iridium I have. 32, but like 38 plates. I've converted the two stack, two and a half stacks of these into plates. So I got quite a bit now. I'm happy with that. It's working. That just this right here is working great. Just one. But like I said, it takes about 12,000 iron just to make one. So be prepared for that, which I wasn't. But I had 40-something thousand iron, so it worked out. Um, so what I wanted to do today is... I'm going to kill this damn spider. Oh, I did make the Vajra. I don't know if I showed you that. I just put Fortune 3 on it. Since the Silk Touch is disabled, uh, I can enable that. It's in the config. There. And I will um, include a copy of of the configs in a world download. I'll try to do my best to to put on there like you know how to do it and it, it's really not too hard there's only two configs and depending on how you install it you actually might not even need to use it um, but as of now I can update to the new one that has pneumatic craft so until I figure that out I'm having an ID7 error um, so I wanted to do something in Thomcraft real quick um, I wanted to make where is it at I wanted to make what is it called? I don't even know what it's called. Um, yeah, you have to make this bone bow to unlock a certain, a certain, a certain essence or something. I don't know. It was so weird. I had, I couldn't find everything at first. I was having problems. Like it was pissing me off. Um, I want to do, maybe it's on thaumaturgy. Let me see. This, I want to do this so it'll automatically, you know. It'll automatically do it. Wait a minute. You have to put a pedestal on there? Okay, so... Oh, we need one of these primal charms. Oh, that's just in a workbench. Oh, wait. How do you make this? Oh, wow. That takes a lot of aspect. 
How do you make the Salus Mundus though? Oh, we we clicked too far, huh? That's Salus Mundus. They're all Salus Mundus. What's the difference? Oh, you can use... Okay, it's giving you two. Okay, so four mana beans and a shard. Okay, so four mana beans and a shard. So we'll just grab some of these. And it doesn't matter which shard we use. Whoops. Let's just grab... I got 10,000 10, of those. So let's grab those ones. Get out of here. And let's see what we can do. I believe it was like that and that. Yep. And where's my one? Oh, wait. We want to put the frugal thing back on there. Don't forget. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, let's actually see how much cheaper it is. Right now, it's 90%. Uh, oh, wait. I'm tripping. Let's put the gear on. Okay. With full gear, what do we get? 80% uh, vis cost. Okay. Now, let's put the frugal three on there. No. Okay. Now the frugal three is on there. Boom. 65 from 80. That's a lot better. A lot better. So let's grab a few of these. I know they're used in other stuff as well. So um, four. Is that enough? We need one primal charm, right? Yeah, we just need one. Okay. So let's do that. I'm going to have to refill this. So we got that. Okay, then I'm going to need one of these. So let me get four, 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 and four gold and diamond. Yeah, look at all that diamond now. <laughs> I think I got plenty of diamond now. Okay, and then we're going to need to recharge this. So let's get what we can. Takes 25, I think, of each. But yeah, I'm tired of putting, I'm tired of doing this, like having to manually do it. So that's why I want to do that. I do like this, though. The Stompcraft stuff is pretty cool. It's got some pretty nice stuff. I'd like to get into making some of the better stuff in it. Let me see, where are we at? We're almost there. But yeah, you need a lot of these nodes, man. Tons of them. You need, like, tons. I went around the nether and got a bunch of the Ignis ones because I was low on fire. I wanted enough to where I could fill up my wand one time charge, you know? Which, I'm going to need more of this and a little bit more air. And I think right there. Okay. 100%. All right. So how do we do this again? We need this first, so we need every shard, gold, and that in the middle. So yellow, red, and blue. Yellow, red, blue, gold, gold, that, and green, ordo, and entropy. Green, that, and that, all right. Put that dog in. 65%. Look at that. 16. It takes only 16 instead of 25. We get the primal charm. Very nice. We still got a lot of that in there. Okay. And we need a pedestal. I think I have an extra pedestal, don't I? Um, right there. Okay. So a pedestal, gold, and two diamonds. Okay. And how much aspect? Okay, just to make sure I, I, I got all those. So we need to put a pedestal here. One gold. And I believe it was two diamonds, wasn't it? And then the primal thing. I believe that's it. So let's see. Hopefully we don't need one of these primal things. Because I don't have another one. <laughs> Look at the aspect coming out of the mirrors. That's so cool. Or the Essentia. I love that. 
It should work out good though. We don't we don't really get too much instability here with all this. Very nice. I love watching this. Okay, it's gonna work. It's gonna work great. And there we go. Bing. One restarge pedestal. All right. So we want that bad dog right there. And then we're gonna want the compound. What is this? Is your travels discover several notes? But yet there has been. Okay, so yeah, this is for compound. So we need um, a comparator. Okay, so let me get a comparator. Okay. And then earth, and then the filters. Do I have any more filters? Filters, filters, no. I have tubes, no filters. Okay, how do we make the filters again? Oh, yeah. Gold and great will log. So, two, four, six, eight, and four. Eight gold. Let's do that. And four great wood logs. No, 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 not great wood. Silver wood. Okay. There we go. That there. And that there. And that. And four. Thank you. Okay. So, four of those. So, we need 15 magic, permutatio, and ordo. I have all that. So, Four earth, four filters with the comparator in the middle. Comparator goes in the middle. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. There we go. Let's do this. Where's my wand? Ah, oh, damn it. I left it downstairs. Nope. Where are you? Give me you. Okay, here we go. I'll have to check my Essentia after this. Make sure I have enough for whatever. Uh, that's what I uh, I'll forget to do is check it and then start something. So we should be good here, you guys. Fill these up. Okay. It's working pretty good. No problems so far. No instability. None of that purple crap. And yes, it worked. Nice. I love it. I love it. Alright, there we go. And this bad dog goes right there. Okay, so now we can just do that. And it should just do it. Oh, I just emptied a bunch of it, but we could just let that stay there now. Very cool. I can put the rest of this Salius Mundus in there and ditch that, that, and that. Cool. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, enough Domcraft for today. <laughs> that is cool, though, huh? Oh, it shows you. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. You can actually see it. Let me see. There it is, right there. 100, 100, 100. How do you grab it? Oh, so is it 100? Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay. Cool. All right, so what I want to do next is... I want to start on blood magic. Um, this seems pretty cool because you can use life points to do a bunch of stuff. And we're not going to get that far, but I'll show you the basics of getting set up. Um, let's do it. Let's see. Let's see. Do I want to go down? I might actually want to go down. It's a pretty big big structure and uh, let's go up one 
Yeah, it's pretty big. I can't remember. But I think it actually might fit in here. But I can always move it. Let me see. Where's center? Is this center? Right there should be center, huh? Yeah, that's center. Okay, let me, uh, let me get some things ready. And I will come back on once I get the stuff that I need. But I want my suit on. So yeah, let me get some stuff together, you guys. And I will be right back. So hold on one second. Alright, guys. So I'm back and we got the cheaty book, Tome of Alka Haste. And if you click on it, there's no recipe for it. So to find the recipe for it, I remember uh, what was in it. Magma Cream was in it. And if you go to Magma Cream and then go to Uses, boom, there's the recipe right there. Um, so what I wanted to use this for is, um, come on, I don't know why it does that. Let's go back to Tome. Okay. Uh, right here to get these nether stars. The reason I want the nether stars is, is I want some beacons for blood magic. You use your blood. So I want to set up some beacons with regen on it, but you know, I just found this way out, but if you actually do it this way, um, and this would be cool. The nether star generator. Look, you can actually just for pretty much for some wood, some string, and a f two diamonds, you can actually get the nether star without using the cheaty book. Uh, I didn't know that, but actually this way would probably be better um, for now. I mean, the book is cool. We'll save it. Um, we'll save it, but yeah, I got all those ready. Okay, so let's do that. What was I going to do again? No. Um, Wither, which, what was it again? The Wither Star or Nether Star? There we go. Okay. So on this one. Okay. So we need, so that'll give us one. I'd like a couple beacon. I don't know if we can do a couple with regen. I'm not sure how that works. If you can, can you have double regen? I don't think you can. Let's just try one right now. Um, so we need a bow. Do I have a bow? I should. Okay. And then uh, a sword. So we need a stick. Let's make two of these right now. And then some diamonds. Let's get that. And there we go. I just don't want to mess up what I had in there. There. That'll work. Ah, I messed it up. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, wither heads. There we go. And then soul sand. Okay. Oh, peaceful mode only. Oh, you little son of a snitch. <laughs> ah! Okay, so we have to use the book. Oh, but you need one to begin with. No. Oh, I could do that, but that's going to take too long. All right. All right. That sucks. Only peace. I could just pop it into peaceful real quick, but we'll just kill it. Just to do one. And then from that one, I can make many, many more from the tome thing. It, there's just no point to fight in the wither at the, you know when you get to this point in the game i mean seriously with the gear i have right here what's the point it's like oh shoot this ain't good i can't see anything let's uh is there i hear lava this way let's go this way is there like a there we go like this uh there's lava right there too Come on, guy. Get up there, would you? Right here. Screw it. I don't care. Okay. Come on. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> I don't think I will. I think with this gear, I'm okay. Ooh, that's loud. Oh, 
that was very loud. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I didn't even realize how loud that was. Oh, look. He gave us two division sil sigils. I already have them. And a minute. What is this for? Um, Permanent health increase. But don't I already have a permanent health increase? Yeah, I got ten of these. Huh. We're going to have to try that. Oh, they go right here. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. What is it? Oh, yellow, right? Stuff's always good. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, so he didn't do much damage. So we got the one star, which is good. Let's boost over here. And bam. Okay. Now, let's make what we need. Okay, let's get rid of this, this, this. And that for now. Okay, so how do we do this now with that tome thing? Okay, so we need... I already made a bunch of these glowing waters, so... Yep, that. And... Where's my book? Oh, yeah, my book's in here. And that. What? What are we missing here? Diamond. Wither. Glowing water destroys undead. Tome of Alkaheist. Huh. I'm not understanding what's... Maybe you can't do it in this kind of crafting here? Let's see. Let's try it in a regular crafting table. I'm, I'm not understanding what's going on here. That's weird. It can't. That can't be just for peaceful mode. Unless that book's disabled in Reliquy. And I just don't realize it. That's why there wasn't a recipe. Oh, it ain't gonna work. Okay. Well. That sucks. Why aren't you working? All right, well, I don't know why that book doesn't work. If you guys know, then let me know why. Is it a config or something? Because I don't know. I just wanted the beacon. Okay, let's get some iron uh, blocks. Can we create those? No, but we can do this. Okay, let's just... There we go. That'll work for now. Two stacks. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to see if one will work for regen. Um, probably like over here. So give me one second, you guys. Hold on. Okay, guys. So we got regen. And then for the secondary, I just picked resistance because I had an option. So it doesn't matter. I thought there was a way to get regen too. There isn't. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a blood altar which is this. That's the first thing we need to do. Um, this actually, this is like a tier one right now. I believe there's f tier four or tier five. I forget how far it goes. I think it might go up five. It's a pretty big thing that kind of like, it kind of works like a beacon where, you know, you got a ring of blocks around here that's like tier two, another ring, and another ring. So you need quite a bit of area to get the full thing. I think I can fit it in here. Um, so you need this first the blood altar and then um let's uh what's this mod called blood magic that's right let's get that set um blood magic okay so that is easy to make it takes one diamond stone furnace and gold and then you need the sacrificial knife right here which is glass gold and iron and if you right click, let me get some food in me. If you right click it, boom. It's taken away. There you go. See, blood's going in there. You're taken away. So let me right click it fast and watch my hearts. See my hearts are going down. Boom, now I'm taking damage. But the regen should fill me. Not as fast as I would like though. Um, but there's now there is um, 
blood in here. We can't see how much blood is in here yet, but we can see that there is blood in there. Um, to be able to see it, you need a sigil. And the one we need is this, no, is, no. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of sigils. Is, where is it at? Uh, nope. No, 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 no. It's division of, it's the divination sigil. Where's the divination sigil? Void water. Hmm. Well, I I can't find it. I know it's somewhere in here. I'm probably overlooking it like crazy. Divination. Right there. Divination sigil. This is what we need first. And we need... So the, so the second thing you need to do... Okay, first thing is the altar. Second thing is the sacrificial knife. Keep on pricking yourself. Blood will go in there. Like I said, we don't know how much blood is in there. Uh, to, in order to figure that out, we need to make a sigil. In order to get a sigil, we need a weak blood orb. In order to get a weak blood orb, we need uh, to throw one diamond inside there and LP 2,000. That means life points. We need 2,000 blood life points inside here. We, we, we don't know yet how much is in there, but we're going to put that in, and we're going to make sure it doesn't drain. So we'll keep on giving it some just to make sure. And it does take a little bit to fill that diamond up, but it will fill it up. And that's why I wanted the regen. Uh, fast regen would be better, but this is okay for now. It is it is going fast enough. I forget how much it gives you on each prick. There is a way to figure it out. Come on, turn. Once we get that blood orb, then we can start making some slates, and then from there we can make the sigils. Um, and then move it on to the next tier and the next tier. Come on, man. Hurry up. There we go. Okay. Now we got the blood orb. This stores raw life essence. I believe the weak blood orb. Uh, how much will this one store? I think it stores 5,000 maybe. If you put the blood orb in there, it will drain the blood from the altar into the orb. Once the orb is full, then uh, the rest will go into the altar still we can't see how much is in there so now we need to make uh, the sigils and we need the divination one first so in order to make any sigil you're gonna need uh, there it is these blank slates and then all it is is stone inside there to make a slate so we put a piece of stone in there and make sure blood doesn't run out myself that'll turn into a slate and then we can make the divination one. Oh, there we go oh give me that hey you need uh nothing in your hand so there's the slate now we need glass so we need uh seven glass so let's get some glass and then we're gonna need the glass like so the blood orb and this and boom divination signal you keep the blood orb so that's very cool you have to uh, combine this to yourself you have to um, right click it like that boom where is it shift right click right click maybe right click it there oh maybe not huh I thought you could oh there it is current owner dive 1130 yeah you do have to right click it that way it'll go to it'll It'll, you'll be the owner. Um, so yeah, you can click on here. And capacity is 10,000, but there's 4,000 in there. And then if we put this on there, it tells you the tier two. It's tier one. Um, is there none in there? Let me see. Per instance, zero. So there's none in there. Is that what it's saying? I thought that fills it up like that. Alters current SS 4000 with the capacity of 10. Current SS zero. I think that is filling up, but I think it takes a while. Now it doesn't seem like it's filling up. Hmm. 
Let's perk ourselves a little bit more. Now we just went up to 7,600. Yeah, 7,600. Um, and does this show us nothing? No, I don't know why that's not taking anything. Maybe this orb. Oh, I think we need the other orb. Hold on. Um, uh, blood orb. Maybe I think we need this one. We need a tier two, so we need an emerald. I'm 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 new to this, you guys. <laughs> I'm new to this. <laughs> Let's try an emerald. Can't really remember, but we need to make sure that enough stuff stays in there. Oh, maybe. Oh no, you need a tier two. That's not gonna work. Yeah, that's right, tier two. Yep, I forgot. My bad. Uh. That won't work. We need a tier two. So how do we make a tier two? Yeah, that's as far as I know for now, guys. <laughs> I'll have to do more research. Uh, this is a big mod. This is quite a big mod. There's a lot of stuff involved. Um, I'll have to do some more research. I just wanted to get started. So 9,000. There's two pricks. 96. One prick. 98. So it gives us 200 live points for a prick. Another prick, 10,000. Yep. Now, can we throw this orb on there now? Will it start filling? I thought the orb fills. Am I missing something? I must be missing something here. This orb is supposed to be filling from it if you put it in like that. Or actually. Or is it now? Is it going to fill like this? Let's check that. No, still says zero. Hmm. I'll have to do some more research, but that's the beginning of it, you guys. Um, so I wanted the beacon to give me uh, regen. That helps a lot with getting your blood instead of sitting here. Because it's kind of grind. It, it is kind of grindy at the beginning because you got to prick yourself a lot and then wait. <laughs> so if you have regen, I do have a lot of potions from those. Uh, if you remember, 300 instant health, but they're not splash ones. But if they were splash ones, you could, you know, I could sit here and use a bunch of these, and those instantly give me health. So I'm going to end it here for now. Um, I'm happy with what's going on. I put iron back in that windmill so we can get some more iridium going. It's a slow process, but in time, it gets there. In time. So I'll probably mess with the blood magic more off camera. Get the tier set up. Show you some stuff here and there. And same thing with the Thomcraft. Uh, then we'll have to get into Ars Magica and Witchery. And that'll be our magic tower. Uh, next episode we'll do something else. I started the quarry back up. In a different age though. So. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, you still prick yourself from this far away. Huh. Very cool. So I'm going to end it here, you guys. With that, thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>